All right, today I'm going to show you my uh, four best free editing softwares or ed editing tools for writers. And the first one actually begins with a tool that I actually use quite often, and it's Hemingway. Now, you can pay for Hemingway, uh, but you also can use Hemingway for for free. You can use it online for free and it won't cost you anything at all. So I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to copy and paste just a brief AI generated article in here and so you can see how it works. So you paste this in here and immediately it'll show you things. Uh, it shows that of my 28 sentences, six of them are very hard to read. So what you might do is uh, you might take out some of the sentence and what you'll see, okay, great. That sentence is now hard to read instead of very hard to read. So it, it allows you to shorten things and to show, okay, here's what I need to cut down on. Here's where maybe I need to make, make this sentence into maybe two or three different sentences. It, it'll also show things that are, you know, misspelled as well. Now, I think that's actually my, uh, my Grammarly working here, but it will show... When you hit like, let's see, let's just, let's misspell the word built. See, it shows, all right, dismiss that. But anyway, so you can see where it'll show technically it highlights weakeners like adverbs. Um, it, so it shows you how many words you have. You can show more stats, letters, characters, words, sentences, paragraphs, re approximate reading time, uh, readability, grade. So you can uh, change this to, if you don't want to edit, you can write directly inside of Hemingway. So that's HemingwayApp.com. And like I said, th this is totally free. And there's no limit. Like if you have another article, I could just delete this and then paste my other article right back in here and just keep using it. Now it has tools, obviously, plus you have to pay for Um but there are quite a few tools you can use in here that you do not have to pay for. If you want to pay for it, you have Hemingway Editor 3 for Mac and PC. It's a one-time purchase uh, for $19.99. You buy that for your Mac or Windows. And basically what it does is instead of using the Internet, it basically puts it on your device. You don't have to have Internet to use it. And you can use a lot of the tools uh directly onto it. Now, I think the the Pro edition that they have, the or the Plus, that I believe is a, let's see if they have the price on here, I believe that is a monthly subscription. You can start a free trial for it. There you go. So, if you want to pay monthly, it's $25 a month, $30 a month, or, you know, the team plan. So, they, they have a free version a per month version and a one time payment that downloads it onto your computer. So Hemingway, uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it, even with the free tool. But if you want to go beyond that, you can really do a lot with the Hemingway editor on HemingwayApp.com. So that's the first one. Definitely should check that out. All right, second one that I know you have heard of is Grammarly. And yes, you can pay for Grammarly or you can use it for free, and much like uh, Hemingway, click a new article, come in and, and paste that in here, and you then, one of the neat things about Grammarly is you get to set some goals. What is your audience? Is it Are they an expert in this subject, knowledgeable, general audience? Do you want this to be formal, informal, or somewhere in between? Uh, what is the domain? Now, you have to have pro for this, but you could say, Oh, this is an email I'm writing, or this is you know a, a something academic I'm writing. And your intent, I want to, I want to convince people. I want to convince them with this. And so then it'll go through and it'll check. And you have your goals. How have you hit the goals? You can change that. It gives you an overall score on your article. It highlights things that need to change. Words like just something you know that's weakening it. And it gives you the suggestions over here. Now you have your pro suggestions. So if you have a paid for account, here's what you'll have there. But it also does this for free. Now, their pro suggestions, you have to hit pro to figure some of those out. Uh, what does pro 
cost. Let's see, I used to have it at one point. So you have your free tier, nothing at all. Uh, you have then Pro. Looks like this is, yeah, th so $12, 12 U.S. dollars when it's billed annually. That's what the cost is a month. If you're paying monthly, it's $30 a month. So you can, in addition to everything in free, rewrite full sentences with a click, adjust your writing tone with ease, write fluently in English, unlimited personal, personalized suggestions, detect plagiarism and AI-generated text, generate text with 2,000 AI prompts. So the with Grammarly, I would say the free tool is good, but with the Pro, it is really an, an all-in-one stop for editing as far as it goes with your writing. Um, I've used Grammarly quite a bit. I use Hemingway. I usually copy stuff in there, but I really love, uh, as you saw in the Hemingway app, how it highlights words. Hey, this is misspelled. Hey, instead of this word, you might want to use this word instead. Grammarly is an awesome tool, um, but you can use it for free as well. But the pro option is, is really, really sweet. Now, the third platform is called languagetool.org, and it says it's more than a grammar checker. It is an AI-based grammar checker. That's how it's more than a grammar checker, I suppose. It's an AI-based grammar checker. Paste your text or start typing below to check grammatical errors and spelling mistakes across languages, which is pretty cool. So you could change what language this is in, but I'm going to paste my article in here again. And uh, I like how it just, these lines were not in my article. I kind of like how it's broken it up into sections like that. That's I just visually like the way that that looks. So you have correct. You have more grammar issues, obviously, like, like Grammarly. They have their premium, but they have a spelling mistake here. You know, ideal for long form, okay? it's Did you mean Longford or long form? Well, okay, I want that to be spaced out. Beehive, uh, they just don't recognize what Beehive is, so you could probably just tell it to... You could add it to your personal dictionary, which it is a thing, So, you, but you have to create your free account. I haven't done that, and you could do that. Or you could just tell it to ignore it in this text, and then we have one more grammar mistake, and I'm going to ignore that as well. Paraphrase. Uh, they can, uh, if you click on any sentence or word, paraphrase online and find alternative wordings. So... A really neat tool. Once again, another free tool. Down here at the bottom, it'll tell you how many characters. Looks like they have a 2,000 character limit, at least with the free version. 294 words. So a really neat tool. You have to create a free account. You do that. Distraction-free writing, personal dictionary, statistics, text, or securely stored. I'll spit it out in a minute. And so, uh, yeah, really, really neat this is something also that they have that's very helpful is they have a, a browser add-on so it can work anywhere on the web. Like Grammarly, this is one of the benefits of Grammarly. If you have this browser add-on, it'll work when you're posting uh, something on Facebook or if you're writing an email. So languagetool.org, I would say they are positioning themselves to be a competitor with Grammarly, if I had to guess. You want to see what the premium cost for language tool. Looks like you have uh, several different options. Uh, you have, if you want to pay monthly, it's $24.90 per month, U.S. dollars. If you want to pay every quarter, you pay $44.90 per quarter, which breaks down to $14.97 a month. If you want to pay annually, it's $69.90 for one payment. That gets you down to $583 per month. Or if you want to pay in two years, $119.80 every, once every two years, but that gets you down to $4.99 a month. So they have several different payment options, and uh, they're like Grammarly. If you get one of the premium versions, you have a lot more tools uh, at your disposal. So that's another really awesome writing tool. Uh, like I said, this one kind of more positions itself with Grammarly. Uh, against Grammarly. And then the fourth and final option is actually ChatGPT itself. Now, ChatGPT wrote this 
brief little article I've been using, but let me, I want to do something here. Please edit the following article. Uh, so, and then what I'll do is I will paste the article in and hit enter. Here is a polished and slightly enhanced version of your article with improved flow, clarity, and formatting. So, chat GPT, actually, I just paste, I tell it what I want it to do. I could have said, check for spelling mistakes. I could have said, hey, shorten this up a little bit, polish this up. And it has now gone in and it has essentially polished up that article. And that cost me nothing at all. So, that's another really awesome tool. If you wanted to maybe take, let's take, uh, let's take this, um, check this paragraph. Well, I can't spell. G R A P H for um, spelling mistakes. And then I paste that paragraph in. Your paragraph is free of spelling mistakes, everything is spelled correctly and reads well. So it'll even check us several sentences for spelling errors. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. So I don't know that you've thought about ChatGPT, but ChatGPT is a really awesome tool that can also, not only can it, you know, it generated this article, but then it can go back and it can check it. It can, can kind of polish it up a bit. So there you go. Four free editing softwares, if you will, or editing tools that I think every writer needs to know about. Let me know which one of these four, if you use one, let me know which one you use, and maybe you've, you've used all four. Let me know in the comments if one of these four is your favorite. I'd like to hear from you. Appreciate it. Y'all subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel, and y'all take care.